Hey again, everybody. Well, just remember, when you own an RV, you either pay somebody to fix it or you repair it yourself. So today, I'm going to repair this ladder that broke on the trip out west. So stay tuned. All right, everybody. What I did is I went online, went on eBay and Amazon to try to find some replacement parts for the standoffs that have broke off. So I actually found them on eBay cheaper. These are the Stromberg Carlson Products Incorporated OEM compatible standoffs. Now these I got 12 inches. They're gonna be a little bit too long, but what's great about this it gives you the flexibility to cut it down to what your size needs. As you can see up here, I'm going to need longer ones. So instead of getting the wrong size, I can cut all these back to what they need to fit. All the way up and down. So we got two up there, two here, and these two here I may be able to replace. I might be able to redo the screws or bolts in them, but if not, I've got a total of six of these to purchase. So. What I'm going to do is remove all these straps, get all this cleaned up, get the ladder free hanging, and then we'll put on the new standoffs. Okay, did all the demo, got everything cleaned up, pulled the other busted brackets off, got the screws out, and now I'm going to go and start here on the bottom put these two brackets on first because this is going to tell me how far I can stand off and those other ones will go accordingly the way the ladder profile is so I'm going to attach these two but what I have found on this fifth wheel Heartland Landmark San Antonio is this is just fiberglass you can I don't know if you can see it bending but I took the tail light out I mean this is just just the fiberglass coat here there's no backing in here for any of these screws. Uh, so what I am going to do is I'm going to take some treated lumber blocks, put it back behind here so when I screw in, I've got some meat to screw into. It can't nothing but help. So I just pop this tail light out, put my hand back in there. You can see the insulation inside. Hopefully you can see. But there's, that's, a, that's the cavity. That's the inner wall. And this is just a fiberglass enclosure on the back that caps the rear end. So I'm going to block these in, put these two bottom ones in, and get these, this hole lined up with this up here. I'm going to raise this up and get it where it needs to be. Okay. I've reattached these two standoffs here that were originally with this unit. Put them back in place. Put the blocking back behind here. Put the cap back on on the turn signal. So, put all the new screws in here that go all the way in here and cinch in. And there's one from the back side that comes in and cinches in. So right now, she's good. But I got the blocking under here because I don't want it to sag at all. I want to keep it as high as I can. And now I'm going to come up and mount these two. And then the two all the way on the top. I can't get any blocking in behind these. So... They're just going to be more stabilizers, I guess, than anything. Because all the meat's here, and then all the meat's up on top. Alright, let's get to it. Okay, phase two is done. On the ladder repair. You can see we got this one all buckled down. Nice and tight. Screws are in good. The new standoff screws went in good. New bolts back here. I can pretty well grab it now. Now I've measured those up on top. I'm going to do those and hopefully we'll have a new ladder all over again. Okay, well, I think we solved the problem. Got everything fixed up above. Got the mid rails in here. Still got one ladder, bike rack, satellite dish. I don't know what I'm going to use it for yet. I'm going to get two longer bolts here. They're not hitting the inside plug. 
see if I can show you that. Can you see it in there? It's set back a little bit too far. So get me some uh, quarter 20 bolts, probably three inches. But other than that, everything screwed in tight. And remember, all this is open in the back. So I did go ahead and caulk all my screws. But even if it did leak down here, it just run out the bottom. But we don't want anything want to leak. Good practice not to. But anyway, RV Adventure TV doing a little RV ladder repair on the road. I wonder what it would have cost if somebody would have done that for me. Put in comments down below what you think this would have cost if you would have took it to uh, one of the uh, local repair shops. But anyway, until next time, RV Adventure TV on Facebook. Make sure you subscribe, please. We appreciate it very much. Comments and your likes. Other than that, stop the madness. Start the adventure.